Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome. Um, today I wanted to show you how to make a good S Plus 40k setup. This is going to be me working on a new setup because my current one looks something like this. I feel it's getting a little outdated and I feel I could teach you guys some tips along the way to making a good setup. So let's get started on that. We are going to get a teleporter receiver right off the bat. A cannon. A Nova Star. A blue super giant and a neutron star. Then we are going to get some walls out. Two super giants. Another nova. Or not a Nova, a Neutron, my bad. And two, uh, th two more super giants, and another neutron. Then a teleporter. You're gonna put your segments on the side as always, and then your three segments around it. All right, there we go. Now you have your loop. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna put our nebula receiver. Our nebula receiver, our, or nebula, the sender. Now then we are going to put a orange teleporter right here. Now the orange teleporter is going to go right here. We want a centering conveyor. Now let's put a true overlord device, a quantum clockwork, actually let's put the quantum ore polisher before the quantum clockwork, we can put the robotic enhancer, maintenance supporter, Next, I actually want to put the Catalyzed Star and then the Saturated Catalyst. Let's put an Angel's Blessing like right here. All right, what do we want to put in next? Azure Spore and a Molten Forge. Um, I think next I'll probably use Scorching Heat because it's a perfect fit. A Cannon. Then... Imperial Monument. Then a teleporter. Hydraulic teleporter.
All right, let's put the Zar Bamba. Oh wait, did I get a new thumbnail or is that just me? Cause I think it did. All right, now we want to put out an astral predictor. Some plasma iron polishers. Do I have the space for a crystallized engine right here? Yes, I do. Now, can I put a caramel birthday cake? Now, what let's do now is let's put an, uh, let's put my three snow globes. I already put a pineapple refiner. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I put a pineapple refiner. Is there anywhere else I could put this? Wait. Now I could probably put a gloom refiner there. Now, wait, let's see here. So what could I put there instead? That could fit. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I am going to put executive pillars, not welders just yet. Let's put a spooktastic refiner and a pumpkin hero. Excellent upgrader. Now, I feel I could use... <sighs> definitely, we definitely have to put in a pumpkin patch. I definitely feel like we could use um, some shop items, but I don't want to go too overboard with them because that could always be a little bit annoying. Because they all have pretty slow conveyors, and we want speed out of this. Like, this is a very compact setup so far. Uh, tropical breeze. Let's definitely not put that there. Um. Oh, this for sure. I could also put a gloom refiner because gloom refiner is pretty small as well. Because I want everything to fit perfectly. 
as close together as possible. Now, I'm gonna do this here. Alright, perfect. Now we've got to put the rest of these here. You, but yeah, this is going to be pretty um, interesting to see how this turns out because I'm actually like really excited to see this. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, I really am. This looks like it'll do pretty well, not gonna lie. But you know me, I make good setups, so... All I need are Diggle Arts and eight more crystallized engines, and then it's basically guaranteed, because I know how to beat the maze. But yeah, the or not Diggle Arts, uh, I meant Abominations. I need one Diggle Art, I don't even have one. Not that many Diggle Arts, that would have been horrible. I probably would have just quit. Not gonna lie, that would have been pure hell at that point. I probably wouldn't have grinded for it, honestly. But we're getting close, um, so it shouldn't be too bad. Honestly, I really don't think it will be. Now, I'm going to put Hopeless Bog. Candy Refiner, why did I favorite that? Candy Refiner. Hmm, I could put the Professional Upgrader. I could put a few of those. No, we don't need all four. Those are very slow. Let's put this here. And let's put Virtual Nancer here. I can't? Are you serious? Wait, what I could do is I could just do this. That. Virtual Enhancer. Kabooey. It's average speed. Like, it's not extremely fast, but you know. Vesterian Upgrader. Let's also put a Pizza Bombarder because Pizza Pizza Bombarder is amazing for using in setups like this. Alright, now um let's use the Guess I could use a Spookler device. Uh, no, that's too large. No, actually, it's not. Wait, what did I remove? Oh, candy refiner. Okay, so I'll put a candy refiner there. Let's move all of this back. 
Now let's use centering conveyor. Spook Lord. Teleporter. So we are using currently four teleporters. So we're using Um, we're using green, orange, blue, and now we're going to use pink. Now what I'm going to do is ramp. We're going to use some of these. Let's put the ion fields on the side. Now let's do that with those because that's going to be extremely useful. Now let's do hydraulics. Then then we could use an ancient conveyor, or any conveyor really. What else should I use? Um, I could most certainly put a... Oh wait, I should probably start using my big items or the way up highs so now let's use rainbow refiner diamond egg beehive Undead Assistance, all six of them. A Gravitational Gear Work. Alien Relic. A winder. All right, now what else could I use? I could use a I could use a drone upgrader. Definitely. Now, oh my god, we've only used up like half the base. Holy crap. Oh wait, we still got a few things we could use towards the end here. So we're going to use Brimstone. Alright. Now, I want to use a, let's go with the, 
Goliath skull. All right. Finally, last line of upgraders. So we're going to go with the Stardust Bulzar right over here. Next, we are going to use... Oh, wait. Frick, I completely forgot about an upgrader. So we're going to put this here. Let's put this back. All right, perfect. Now we're going to use Jadosphere Fire. Yes, it fits. Okay, that's good. Now, um, what else could I use? I don't think there's really anything else I could use. I could use Haunted House. Transylvania Refiner. And then we're going to put like a row of Freons. Alright, perfect. Next, let's do a Tesla. large conveyor amp after your tracker of course always after your tracker replicator mini race conveyor Final upgrader. By the way, this was made by TO72. Alright. Just about done with this. This, uh, not the whole setup. I mean just the little um, clickless resetter system, by the way. Not the whole setup. This was made by me. This setup. Alright. So. Then large. Very ramp. Replicator. We might have to move this back by a few. I could probably get rid of another one of those.
Let's put our gate. Our gates, not a gate. All right, lastly, we're going to put Book of Knowledge. Now we're going to use Draconic Glass with a centering conveyor. Let's see if that drops. Perfect. Put two just in case. Now we're going to use Freon Bombarder. Just make sure we have everything we want in the setup. We could add the welders, but I don't know. This part's doing pretty good, so I don't think I'd want it. And those hydros are going to help out a lot, including the fact I could also do this. And then once I get Void Drive, um, I know exactly what I want to do with the setup. Alright, now I don't really have enough time to go test it, but I really wanted to say thanks for watching, and um, yeah. I'll definitely make a review set up on this, or a review video, my bad. Um, we'll do a video reviewing this uh, tomorrow or something. But yeah, you guys have a good one.